When you, when you guys heard about uh, Jalen, you, you wouldn't be coming back. Yeah. What was the, the reaction, especially among, among the players in the secondary and you guys who would have been playing next to him this year? Uh, everybody was kind of feeling bad about it just because he's such a great player and he was a leader on the team. And uh, just me just getting here, I was just excited to play with him just because of what he brought to the table. I had fun playing with him in the spring game. But everybody knows what type of player he is and stuff, and he wished us the best. So everybody just wants to uh, pick up the slack for him. Coach Chris Clay said yesterday, talked yesterday about his work ethic and practice, and he's one of the, the hardest practicers he, he's ever coached. I mean, yeah. he only spent a, a few months with Jalen, but did you notice that in the spring, how, how well he practiced? Yeah, I did notice that. He always went hard. Whatever he was doing, he did it to the max. And uh, he, was always, he was a vocal guy, too. Like, he would let us know what we're doing wrong and try and help out the younger guys, bring them along. So I really noticed that while he was here. Where do you feel like you've grown most since when you first got here from Juco and now being in fall camp? Uh, I'm not really sure. Probably just buying into like uh, saying, "Say let's do more." Just kind of focusing on doing my job and stuff, not talking about it. Just making sure I can come every day and help out the team, do what I can. So that's probably the biggest thing. What's the competition between you and you and Tyrese? Tyrese was taking a lot of the first team reps the first few days, and you've kind of taken over in the first first team defense. Is, is it a pretty fluid competition right now? Uh, I mean, I get I wouldn't know. We just going out there, both just playing, trying to make plays, and uh, that's pretty much how it goes. Everybody just trying to make plays. So, is safety your? Would you define safety as your natural position, or is that something that you kind of got asked to do? When no, I uh, yeah, I'm kind of just. Coming in, trying to do what I can to help the team. I'm, I'm really a corner, but well, I was playing corner. But uh, when they asked me to move to safety, it was no problem. I just want to be able to help the team out. So, did you play safety in JUCO ball at all? Or no, nah, I played corner. I played corner pretty much uh, since my junior year of high school. But I played a little safety like in little league in my sophomore year of high school. So it's not new, but yeah. What's the most difficult part about going from corner to safety? Uh, just Learning the playbook, you got to be like the quarterback of the defense in our uh, defense. So just learn the playbook, making sure I know all the calls, be able to help out other positions. That's the hardest thing about it, but it's coming along. Do you feel being at safety sort of maybe not forces you, but maybe you feel obligated to be more vocal to be that? Yeah, definitely. Coach, uh, Coach Shaver always talks about being a boss on the, at, in, at safety. So basically just wants us to be loud and be sure with our calls. So and help out everybody around us because if we're not communicating, it doesn't help the defense. So, of course, it does. Man, with you JC guys, it doesn't seem like, even on a social level, that you're first-year guys. It seems like you're part of the team. Mm -hmm. Is that how it seems to you? Yeah, since I got here, I felt like I was part of the team. Like, that's just how they do it. That's cool. They welcome you in. So, I feel welcome since I got here. So, I don't really feel shy to speak up or anything. And, uh, it's football, so you got to be vocal anyways, or else you need that communication, or else you can't function. So, I know, I know there aren't really clicks within the team, but there could be three JC guys, new newcomers starting in the secondary. Do, do you guys take pride in all coming from kind of similar situations, not the same school, but you guys all had to do do different things to get here and kind of work a little bit harder? Uh, no, nah, we don't really talk about it too much. It's just like we're just coming out here and playing football, just starting with a spot. That's all that is. How much does it help you going against this good group of receivers? Uh, it helps me tremendously, like, going against, uh, in the spring, going against outside receivers like CJ, Aesop, Dez, uh, Tay. That gave me a lot of good work, and now I get to go against the inside receivers too. So, And in our offense, we run around and pass the ball so much that we're going to see every concept, like, in the playbook. So it helps me out just so I'm ready for everything when Saturday comes. Excluding Jalen now, is there anyone else, kind of maybe a more veteran on the secondary that has really helped you kind of transition to, to WCU? Yeah, uh, when I first came, like Marcus and George helped me out a lot at corner. And now that I joined the safety room with Sky, being an uh, experienced player, he's helped me out a lot with learning the calls and stuff. So it's been good. He's been helping me out a lot. One more for Daniel. What was maybe the most important thing you learned from, from Jalen in, in the short time you, you were playing with him? Uh, probably just his work ethic, just the way he ran around every day and made sure he was trying to make a play for the team and communicated loud. I kind of noticed those things. So when I'm trying to play safety, I'm just trying to kind of embody what he was doing and just be loud, be vocal, help out my teammates, play hard.